Well, hello everyone, and here we are again for another collective worship. Today I'm going to talk to you about worries and difficult days. Now, haven't we been enjoying some beautiful weather? In fact, I think yesterday was the hottest day of the year. Now, you either love the sunshine and the glorious weather, or you might find it a bit too much and feel like you need to sit in a swimming pool all day long. But we have enjoyed some fantastic weather. So because the weather's been so fantastic, we're going to go over to the beach for our assembly. Really? Yep, let's go on a school trip to the beach. Hello there all saints, and here we are for a very special assembly on the beach. Is this a first in the history of All Saints School for us to have an assembly on the beach? As you can see, it's nice and sunny. It's a little bit cooler because it's the evening time currently that I'm filming this. Um, but I'm going to tell you about one of my favourite poems that I always think about when I come to the beach. So a little bit different today, but I hope you enjoy it. Speak to you soon. Now I said today's assembly was going to be about difficult days and worries. And one of my favourite places to be when I've maybe had a difficult day or might be feeling a bit worried is to be at the beach. It's one of my most favourite things to do. And recently, I've been going to the beach in the evenings at the weekends when nobody else is there because then it's really peaceful and I can let my dogs go for a really long run in the sand. And I'm going to show you some pictures of that. But one of my most favourite things to do at the beach is to make footprints. And I don't know about you, but I love looking at different footprints. You see big feet, little feet, you see paws, all kinds of footprints when you go to the beach. And I'm going to share with you one of my most favourite poems and it's called Footprints in the Sand. Footprints in the Sand. One night a man had a dream. He walked along a beach, the Lord at his side. Across the sky flashed scenes from his life. He saw two sets of footprints in the sand, his own and those of the Lord. But looking back, he noticed at times along the path, there were only one set of footprints. This was often at difficult times of his life. He asked, My Lord, you said that if I follow you, you would walk with me all the way. But in times of trouble, there is only one set of footprints. Why have you left me when I needed you the most? The Lord answered, My precious child, I love you and I would never leave you. During your times of trial, when you see only one set of footprints, that is when I carried you. Now isn't that a wonderful thought? That if we're having a difficult day or we might be filled with worries, that we can know that God carries us through those difficult days. He never leaves us. He loves us and he cares for us. So however you're feeling today, I want you to remember that poem. Sometimes you might remember two sets of footprints walking together in the sand. Sometimes you might only see one set of footprints. But remember that God will carry you through. He'll carry you through those difficult days and those difficult times. So just need to keep trusting in him and giving your worries to God. Now you've got some pretty amazing teachers and teaching assistants at All Saints School. Just have a little think, have a little look around if you're in school, have a think and remember their names if you're not in school. So thank you teachers for all your hard work and teaching assistants, you are very much appreciated. But I'm going to talk about Jesus. He was a great teacher and used to give great lessons and he spoke to the people about worrying. And he said something very simple. He said, don't worry. The passage in the Bible is in the book of Matthew and chapter 6. And he says, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. 
They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more valuable than they? Then Jesus moves on to talk about the flowers, and he says, Why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labour or spin, yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendour was dressed like one of these. If this is how God clothes the grass of the fields, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not clothe you more, O you of little faith? So basically, from this passage in the Bible, Jesus is reminding us not to worry, reminding us that he cares for the birds, he cares for the flowers, just look into creation and see how much he looks after everything. If he looks after those things, he will look after you too, because you are loved and valuable to him. There's another verse in the Bible that says, give all your worries to God. Give all your cares to God, because he cares about you. Now for today's prayer, I'm going to keep it really very simple. So I'm going to say a line and then you can repeat it if you'd like to. Thank you, God, that you care for us. Thank you, God, that you care for them. Thank you, God, that you care for me. Amen. So that brings us to the end of our collective worship for today and in fact for another week. Next week we are going to be tuning in to some assembly resources from the Church of England. So we won't be sharing our videos on YouTube but look out on our social media challenges for the links so you know how you can join us in a slightly different way just for next week and then we'll be back here again on our YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe, keep in touch via our social media channels and our school email address. We'd love to hear from you. Take care and have a lovely weekend.